Good afternoon, everybody. This is July the 20th, 2022, and it is hot. Am I reading that correctly, Stephen? It's almost 100 degrees. It's supposed to be 100 degrees all week. Now, that doesn't include the, the humidity factor, right? The heat index? No. Man, it's... it's it feel it's really hot. It's hot and muggy. So good day for laying down paint. Speaking of which, yeah. Speaking of which, paint is outrageous. What I used to be able to get for three something a can is now like six, seven, eight, nine bucks a can. So anyway, I've been wanting to color change this uh, Porky Cliff ever since I brought it home and uh, wanted to go a lighter yellow and there's a lighter yellow than what was on it and uh, so I got that changed and then I wanted to do a dark gray like uh, another manufacturer uses and so so I got the original manufacturer's color by the yellow but I put another manufacturer's gray on it because I thought it would look best that way so, it's not finished by a long shot. So show me the paint. Show me the. Is this it, is the inner. I mean, is and it? This is the gray. I mean, is it rust? This is what it used. To, the whole thing was painted that. Color. Oh man, that bug's suffering. If you see, and if you see down here, these used to be yellow. So I'll probably pop those wheels off and paint them yellow again to match the yellow. Yeah. So, uh, it all it used to all be. That's all wet. Get away from it. Oh. Okay. Oh, well, okay. Back up. It's wet. Well, uh, show me. I just want to you see want the paint all over you. No. Then back up. So, warm yellow. That's called. Um, it's called a warm yellow. Okay. It's a, it's a lemon yellow. So, uh, so how much was it a can for that paint? Uh, about six bucks. Really? Yeah, it costs a hundred dollars. How many cans did you go through? Gone through them yet, yeah, ain't done. But you spent $100 in paint? I uh, sprayed on it with other colors until I finally came up with the colors that I wanted. Oh, wait a second. That's a different color of yellow. Yeah. Is, is it, or did you, and obviously you intended to do I it? I just got through saying, ladies and gentlemen, I've sprayed it different colors until I finally found the color that I wanted. Uh, some people are just kind of hard to understand. Yes, I've sprayed it other colors. As you can see, this is a lighter gray. I actually even have a lighter gray up here. Oh, yeah. So I have a lighter gray, a darker gray, a dark gray, and then the darkest gray. This is the one that I chose that I want to use. And it's actually a primer, I think. Well, no. I think, it, yeah, it's primer paint. So it's primer and paint mixed together. So it's, so it's going to bond. And then this yellow here... I started off a darker yellow, but I wanted lighter and lighter and lighter. So I got this lemon yellow because whoever painted it this color is not the original color. The original color was closer to this color here. So I wanted as close to the original yellow, but I didn't want the whole thing to be yellow. I wanted to kind of blend it in with gray. So, so uh, Ruthie's way too close. She always gets too close. But anyway. So if you look at it, if you take two colors, it blends it all together so it's not just a big, bold, gigantic, yellow-looking monstrosity coming down the road, coming to pick up your load. So this way, kind of, you can put on your dark sunglasses and look cool when you come up and get a load. Yeah, almost like a, it's a, it almost looks like a, like a bumblebee. Kind of. No, it's gray, not black. Well, I, I realize that, Stephen. I'm just saying that it... But I didn't want it all yellow, so I'm going a dark gray and that bright yellow. Okay. All right. And I'll probably eventually do the wheels yellow, too, one of these days. No hurry. Just something I do every now and then. Squirt a little bit of paint here and there until I get it changed over. Well, all right. So you're looking. Definitely look better than it did when I brought it. Oh, on. it sure does. It it really. And we've had it for almost two years now. We've had this for almost two years, and so, yeah. Um, I gotta get a latch for the hood here. I'm missing the latch. And then these these little rubber seal that goes around the bottom of this. 
I need to pull the radiator out and fix the tranny leak on there. And uh, I want to pull the uh, fuel injection pump off and clean it up and change any O-rings that need to be changed in it. And then uh, I may or may not get around to fixing them hydraulics. I don't know. All depends. I do know I have a leak on the bottom of the steering wheel because it also operates off the same hydraulic as the lifts and the uh, the steering, the steering, the lift, and the transmission all work off the same. Well, I'm wrong. The transmission has its own hydraulic pump, but the steering and the lift have the same pump, so they operate on the same pump. And the transmission has a different pump. So, but anyway. I may or may not do those. I have never rebuilt them. So if I ever get the time to take this thing down and take it apart, I might. And uh, I do know that these things, when they're running and everything's working on them, that they're worth over 10 grand. So uh, I got it for three. And uh, I've got it in a lot better shape. And I got brakes on it now. And uh, I'll continue to work on it until I get it tip top. Until it's back to uh, working for a factory somewhere condition. But in the meantime, you're still looking for a skid steer. Yep. So anyway, that's the color change. Any hue, ladies and gentlemen. Ricky's waving at me to tell y'all get out of here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, God bless. Have lots of fun wherever you are. And later.